We're continuing our seventh year of Five Under 35. I created this initiative to recognize young adults whose attitudes and actions are making Great Falls an even better place to live. Yesterday, you met our youngest recipient ever, Luke Swenson. Tonight, I introduce you to our second honoree, nominated by four people. She's described as an amazing asset and someone who will continue to be a big part of building and caring for the Great Falls community. Jamie Wald walks by a picture of her cousin Tyson every day at work. To know that I'm, what I'm doing is in his memory, um, I just feel honored. Her passion for helping others and being involved with nonprofits stems from him. I have a cousin um, who, when I was younger, he did pass away of cancer. And I was only in third grade when that happened, but it has been something that has stuck with me. After his passing in the mid 90s, money was donated in Tyson's honor to help other kids and their families battling illnesses. This is kind of where it came full circle for me. Jamie's now the senior director of development for the Benefits Foundation, a not for profit organization that raises money to help patients who might not be able to pay their bills and for buildings and technology. The 31 year old has been in her current role since 2018. Jamie was born and raised in Great Falls, graduating from Great Falls High in 2006. She went to MSU and lived in Bozeman for 10 years, working for Special Olympics Montana there and here in Great Falls. Since moving back in 2017, she's poured herself into causes she believes in, like Make-A-Wish Montana. It's exactly my calling. As many who nominated her pointed out, Jamie has a strong commitment to help others and to build the community. I think we're at a good place here. I think that um, we have a good community and I think that we're really on our way to just exploding. Jamie Wald, one of KRTV's Five Under 35. As part of the Five Under 35 program, I ask each honoree two questions that are meant to spur conversation and thought in our community. Those two questions, what does Great Falls have going for it and how can Great Falls improve specifically when it comes to the young adult population? Jamie says she's encouraged by the young adults who have chosen to stay or come back to Great Falls to make it their home. These organizations that I've gotten involved with and I, the people I have worked with and seen the passion that they have to grow this community is, is outstanding and I, I think that everywhere you turn there's a new nonprofit and a new group of people working towards improving Great Falls. Jamie says she thinks Great Falls can improve by young professionals learning and understanding how their dollars and volunteer hours can impact and grow the community.